What is up, YouTube? So, I pretty much owe you guys an update on what's going on because I haven't been posting anything in quite a while, almost a year, actually. Um, so, what has happened lately? Well, I got a new job. I We moved locations, so we have this big shop instead. Um, I've been sick uh, for quite a while, and I have been waiting for parts that never arrived. I ordered a new flywheel and clutch kit in February, and I w was told that I was supposed to get it in May. It never arrived, and there was a bunch of problems with getting money back and ordering new shit, and it was just a mess. Um, so I ordered from the most reliable source, uh, the Kangaroos team, so I, I'm getting that this week, um, and I'm going to England on Friday. So. Late next week, there will probably be a video where we are swapping the engines and doing all that stuff. But basically, this is how she looks today. She's taken apart, uh, everything is off. Um, it's pretty much ready to take the engine out. We're just waiting for, obviously, the flywheel and clutch so we can mate the transmission and the engine and swap it in. So. I also did something very stupid. I ripped out the old uh, uh, ECU and all the wiring, and now I'm having issues with stuff not working. Um, so that's quite a bit of a headache. Um, so, but you're not gonna see very much of that, uh, other than maybe a few bits here and there um, of me just tinkering with the wiring. So, yeah, um, we have the engine. I have assembled it. I actually never showed you guys that I assembled the engine, but Let's see if I can pull this out without damaging anything. This is the engine, the new engine, the turbo engine, fully assembled. Uh, the manifold is just on here for mock-up purposes, or just so it's not on the floor. Um, I welded an AN bung to the valve cover. Um, so I can have uh, a different setup. Uh, originally, I had the, a hose just with some Teflon tape stuffed into the the breather, and it didn't it didn't seal quite well. Enough of that. The engine is assembled. I had to get a new transmission because with the new clutch setup, it only works with dual mass transmissions. So <laughs> I'm sorry for the mess. So this is the original transmission, not from the car, but uh, one just like it. Uh, it has the same part number. It has a long like uh, input shaft, and the new one, it has a short input shaft, because it's a dual mass. Um, that's something to be aware of if you are buying a flywheel and clutch kit from the Kangaroos team, that it is for dual mass gearboxes and not for single mass, so you have to swap it out. and. Oh, there's just so much. Um, I also figured out that I might need to go 6-speed instead of a 5-speed uh, because the old 5-speed boxes actually don't hold very much. Uh, they don't hold a lot of power. They hold around 250, 300, and I'm going for 400. So, yeah. Lucky me. Yay. Um, what else? Uh... I sold my interior because I'm getting some motorsport panels in here um, because I, was, I wasn't I was sick of looking at the old stuff but I thought might as well go full on race car. Um, I ripped the old ECU out. Oh, I didn't rip it out, I took it out <laughs> nicely. Um, so this is the old setup, this is the relay board, the ECU, the uh, EDIS module, the trigger wheel, all of the wiring. So if any of you guys are interested in buying <laughs> my ECU and my wiring harness and everything, it's pretty much plug and play, kind of. You might need to do some sm slight modifications to the wiring, but all in all, it's pretty much set up for an ITB M102 like I had. Um, so I think that's it. Um, this is the old wiring, all of, all of that. Uh, I'm I'm kind of regretting that I ripped it out, but 
that's just how it is. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Um, so the next video is going to be late next week. I think probably might be mid next week. Um, where we're swapping the engines. I already said that. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the content that I'm putting out. I'm doing my very best. I don't have a lot of money. And especially when I'm sick, I'm not getting all of that money that I'm used to so it takes quite a while um to get all the parts but it's getting there so i will see you guys next time